Morning YouTube, this is New 2 and one I am coming to you with uh, my one year lock anniversary. It's been one year since I have begun my journey with locks. Um, and take with that what you will. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some pictures from my beginning stages up till now. I don't have that many pictures because I really wasn't too, um, you know, obsessed with taking pictures. And a lot of times when I am taking pictures, for some reason, I'm in costume for things that I've done, so whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so just so far, what I've noticed over my one-year journey. Oh, first, let me give you a 360 view of my locks like I gave you in my first video. All right, so uh, pluses and minuses of the whole locking process. Uh, let's start with the negatives, all right, because then we can end on a positive note. The minuses I found with my locking process is that um, it wasn't at all what I expected. I expected that I would um, coil my hair with a rat tail comb and some beeswax, which I know now that you're not supposed to use, and... Um, then that would be it. My hair would get locked and that would be that. What I didn't realize was that uh, the uh, texture of my hair is really weird. Uh, just like how everyone's texture does not conform to what we think texture should be. And that my locks wouldn't look like most people's locks that I saw. Um, I was really um, hoping to have big, fat, thick dreadlocks. But because my hair is kind of straight, even though my parts are big, my locks aren't as big as um, my parts. Uh, and that would have been the case if I made really skinny locks or sister locks or anything like that. They would have ended up coming out smaller. Now, um, also, when I dyed my hair in Jamaica, the chick that dyed my hair just fried it up, you know, and that's just like a dyeing problem altogether. And I had to cut off a lot of the ends of my hair because of it. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see what else uh, once I found interlocking it was a lot easier for me to maintain my hair on a daily basis but uh, it didn't necessarily have the look that I was going for originally and I had to learn how to adjust my interlocking technique in order to get the look on my locks that I want I really like the way that they look now they're kind of rough looking uh, kind of crazy looking they're you know different sizes in different places and I really like it it's um it's different it has its own character and what's good about it is that even though it wasn't what I expected it's what I never knew that I wanted because I like the way that it looks on me um, I like that they're different I like that they're unique and I no longer think that you know your hair has to conform to oh this is what locks should look like and so I'm a lot more daring with my hair now you know, with coloring it and stuff like that. Let me just show you what I mean. I was leaving out the edges of this lock so I could, for this very purpose, what I mean by my hair is straight in the front. This is the, oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but uh, this is how my hair grows out of my head in the front of my hair. See that straight up like that? There is no kink, no curl to the front of my hair. And it's always been that way. It kind of looks like when uh, you would, when some people press their hair. That's kind of what it looks like. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> the wonders of being an African in America is that we are a mix of all types of things and you never know what's going to end up coming out of it. Um, and then the back of my hair is kinky and curly. Like the front is kinky and straight. The back is kinky and curly. And, you know, so that locks in a different way. I'm, I really am happy with the results. And... I don't think that I'm going to ever take out my locks. You know, that's a big thing to say. But, um, you know, I just don't see myself taking them out because I'm interested to see where they go, uh, how they grow, what happens to them. Um, okay, positives. Now that it's locked, I get up and go about my business every single day, and that is excellent. I really like being able to do that. You know, I don't really have to do anything before I go to sleep to prep for the day before to make sure that when I wake up, I, I'm easily able to comb out my hair. I just maybe tie a scarf around the, um, the five head, and then I just get up and go on about my business. 
like that a lot. Um, so, uh, let's see what else. I like that it's unique. I like that it's different. I like that, um, there's a community of people that lock their hair and, you know, there's a wealth of experience to grow from each other. And that's about it. So, uh, I'm going to put in those pictures and you're going to get to see my lock journey thus far.